वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पोएम नेमली अ लेजेंड ऑफ नॉर्थलैंड बाय वी वी कैरी द प्रेजेंट पोएम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर बुक दैट इज बी हाई फर्स्ट वी फोकस ऑन द टाइटल ऑफ दिस पोएम दैट इज अ लेजेंड ऑफ नॉर्थलैंड लेजेंड मीन्स ट्रेडिशनल स्टोरी और ट्रेडिशनल टेल टी एल डी और फोक टेल एफ ओ एल के और टी एल डी लेजेंड रिफर्स टू फोक टेल और ट्रेडिशनल स्टोरी सो अ लेजेंड ऑफ नॉर्थलैंड मीन्स ट्रेडिशनल स्टोरी ऑफ नॉर्थलैंड नॉर्थलैंड रिफर्स टू द कंट्रीज दैट आर सिचुएटेड नियर नॉर्थ पोल when we focus on this point what does northland refer northland refers to the countries which are situated near north pole so in other words you can say this poem tells us the traditional story of northland and northland refers to the countries or region r e g i o n countries or region r e g i o n which are situated near north pole see the introduction of this poem the present poem is a ballad the present poem is a ballad now question arises what is the meaning of ballad here you see a ballad is a song narrating a story in short stanzas that is the quality of ballad ballad is basically a song that contains a story and ballad has several short stanzas ballads are a part of folk culture or popular culture and are passed on orally from one generation to next so this is the quality of ballad so what is ballad ballad is basically a song that contains a story that story is transferred from one generation to next but this transformation is orally it is not written okay again i am going to repeat ballad is basically a song that contains a story this story is transferred orally from one generation to next the poem narrates the legend of an old lady as i told you what is the meaning of legend legend means traditional story or folk tale of an old lady who angered saint peter because of her greed so this is the key point of this poem this poem tells us the story of an old lady who angered saint peter because of her greed so an old lady was greedy and because of her greed she angered saint peter when saint peter became angry then what did he do what curse did he provide to an old lady that is described in this poem namely a legend of northland clear now move to the first stanza you see see the first stanza away away in the northland so northland i told you 
northland refers to the countries or the regions which are situated near the north pole again i am going to repeat northland refers to countries or regions which are situated near north pole away away in the north land where the hours of the day are few means in north land the hours of the day are few means day is short and the nights are so long in winter and nights are long in winter that they cannot sleep them through okay in the first stanza the poet has described the feature of northland as i told you northland refers to countries which are situated near north pole in the further line the poet has described the feature of northland first feature is that in northland the days are few the hours of the day are few means days are short and nights are long means hours of the nights are long in simple words we can say the days are long and nights sorry days are short nights are long in winter that they they here refers to the people who dwell or live live in the region of northland they cannot sleep them in that condition they can't sleep through okay so in the first stanza the poet has described about the feature of northland we find that in northland days are short nights are long and the people of this region cannot sleep silently or soundly come to next stanza stanza 2 where they they i told you what does they refer they harness harness means to tie the reindeers reindeers means animal reindeers are kind of animal tie the reindeers with a rope to a sledge so that it can be used for transportation where where you understand where refers to northland or countries of northland or reason r e g i o n reason of northland they harness harness i told you to tie the reindeers with a rope to a sledge reindeers i told you it is a kind of animal which is uh, uh, sorry which are used to pull sledge or reindeers are used for transportation where they harness the swift reindeer swift here means fast reindeer reindeer i told you reindeer refers to the animals which are used for transportation or which are used to pull sledges to the sledges sledges you can understand it is a kind of the vehicle which is used in snowy area the area which is covered with snow in that area sledges are used so sledges refers to vehicles and reindeer refers to the animals which are used to pull sledges when it snows meaning is this when snow takes place fast reindeers were tied to the sledges and the children look like bear cub bears cub in their funny 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 furry clothes so in winter season what kind of clothes are worn we are familiar some people wear the clothes that contains furs f u r s furs 
okay and when these cloths were worn by children they looked like beer's cups they looked like beer's cups cups you understand okay so in chapter 2 the poet has, sorry poet has described about the people's occupation or which vehicle is used for the transportation what kind of animals are used uh, in pulling sledges that has been described so in stanza 1 and stanza 2 the poet has described about the reason of northland again i'm going to repeat the poet has described the poet has described about the northland in northland days are short nights are long and in winter season the people of northland do not sleep soundly in northland people of uh, northland tie the reindeer to a sledges reindeer refers to animals which are used for the transportation sledges refers to the vehicles so people of northland tie the first reindeer to the sledges when it snows when snows take place they tie swift reindeer to the sledges and children wore furry cloths and they look like bears cubs so that is the these are the things which we have discussed in this uh, uh stanza 1 and stanza 2